starts with a per, ends with a parabola. Your parabola is so basic. This is not basic parabolas. What are we talking about? This guy, I know. Uh, when you were small, you just went and you were all like, y is equal to a minus x squared plus one. It's a parabola opening down, shifted up one. So you're all like, bam, you do one of these and you go. But this isn't your basic parabola. We want to find the focus and the directrix. So we need to get it in this position. We need to figure out whether or not it's this one opening up and down or that one opening left and right. What? This guy has the x squared, so we want to put it into that preferred form. So that says x squared is equal to a minus y plus a one. What I do, whoom. Woo. I subtracted the y and I added the 1. Now, I'm still trying to get it in that form. So in doing so, I go, that's x minus nothing squared. That's equal to pull that 1 out. Why? Because my y is a positive 1 coefficient. And that's a y minus a 1. Fun. So from there, I know my vertex is at HK. Okay, so that's zero, mi zero minus K, so it's the opposite sign of the thing that you see in there. Zero, one, fun. Get over there, curves. Accentuate your curves. Your vertex is the point. Which point? This point. Oh, look at that. All right, so I need to also find my focus and my directrix because the parabola is defined to be the curve equal distance from a point in a line. The point is called the focus. Focus, people, focus. And the line is called the directrix. So first we need to find our P. In order to find our P, we're going to match these guys up. So find P, find P. All right, so then minus one is equal to a four P. So it turns out to me that my P is a minus one fourth. Now, what's that? That's the distance away from the focus that the directrix, that's the distance away from the vertex that the focus and the directrix lie. So I'm looking at this and what am I changing? I'm changing my Y. Yeah, so that means I need to change that y. So if I'm finding the focus, is the focus bigger than or smaller than? Look at it, look at it, look at it. The focus is smaller than the vertex. So I'm gonna take that y value and I'm gonna subtract off one fourth. Yeah, so focus. I'm gonna take that y value, y, because I'm changing my y. All right, so I take that y. 1, and I subtract off my 1 fourth, 1 fourth, and that's, wait for it, what is that, zip, zap, zo, that's 3 fourths, so my focus is, that's my new y, my x stays the same, it's still 0, 3 fourths, so if we were making a nice non-basic graph, that point there would be at 0, 3 fourths, I made it big, so let's find the directrix, the directrix, I direct your attention. The directrix, that's this line. Whose line? This line. Y is equal to something. Is that bigger than or smaller than the vertex? That's bigger than, taller than, higher than. It's above. So I'm going to go and I'm going to add the 1 4 to it. To what? The y value. What's the y value? It's 1. So then I'm going to take that 1 and I'm adding that 1 4 to it. And when I do, zip, zap, zo. Oh, Mr. Emery, that's 5 4 For sure, for sure. So that's my new y. Which y? This guy. Y was what? Y was 5 fourths, and I'm going to write it down here, y is equal to 5 fourths. So if I was going to properly draw this graph, it would look like this, boom, oh, what's that? That's my focus. What's this? My directrix. And then what's this? That's my focus. Ooh. So then it's all points equal distance 
from that dot and this guy, so this and that, those look equal, and this and that, those look equal. Does it look like somebody's jumping? Oh, no! Ah, damn. Ew. Ew. Does it look like I choked a Smurf? We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>